Today is February 3rd, and the quote for today is called Failure. How you manage failure and difficulty will determine how well you succeed. So you may have heard me say before that one of the problems that many people have with failing is that they identify personally with the failure, meaning they, they don't think I failed, they think I am a failure. And of course, as devotees we know, we're not the body, so certainly we're not failures. We're not our emotions, we're not what we think about ourselves. We're pure spirit, soul, servant of Krishna. So certainly to identify as a failure is wrong and it's a psychological weakness or an emotional weakness in where one feels not humble in the proper sense but one feels a lacking or one feels that they're very bad so if they do something wrong they think I'm a failure. Now one of the amazing amazing things that I've discovered is that oftentimes we cannot succeed at something, we cannot understand how to succeed at something if we don't first fail at it. Now we don't want to fail, we always try to succeed. And, and there's a nice story, there was a general who had to make a decision, and no general had made this decision in 10 years. And he was given a briefing, which was an, a 700 page book, and he only read about 100 pages, and then he had a meeting with his officers, and then he made a decision, and one of the officers said, how could you make a decision You've only read a hundred pages and we only met for an hour and a half. And he said, no one has made a decision for 10 years. The only way I'm going to know if this decision is right or wrong is to make it. Because if it's wrong, I'll find out. But if I don't make it, I will never find out if my decision is right or wrong. So I thought that was good, that sometimes we just have to do something. And if we fail, then we learn that we did it wrong. And we always ask ourselves, okay, I failed. What did I do wrong and what can I learn from this? This is very, very basic. So don't be afraid to fail. In fact, unless you have some willingness to fail, it's very difficult to be progressive in what you do. And now let's look at Prabhupada. As I, as I often say, Prabhupada put me as a temple president or allowed me to be a temple president only as a, a devotee of eight months and 19 years old. So the odds are I would make mistakes. And that's something that Prabhupada had to accept. But Prabhupada understood if I was sincere, then I would rectify those mistakes. And then I would learn to become a better devotee, a better leader, a better manager. So failing wasn't such a problem for Prabhupada, as long as it wasn't something major. He put us in positions. He allowed us to fail as part of the learning process. And if we failed, then Prabhupada would say, well, what are you going to do now? How are you going to rectify it? And Prabhupada didn't make you feel like you, there was something wrong with you because you failed. He made you understand there was something wrong with what you did or something wrong with your judgment. But you yourself are not a failure. So what are we going to do now? How can we rectify in the situation? How can we improve it? How can we move forward? So the point of this quote for today is how you react or recover from failure is going to make a huge difference in your life. So if you learn from failure, you'll grow. But even Bhaktivinoda Thakur quoted, failure is the pillar of success. So you learn from it and you move forward enthusiastically. And Prabhupada said we should be enthusiastic. So this is one example in which we need to be enthusiastic. I fail, made a mistake, I fell short, but... I don't lose my enthusiasm. I use that as a, as a springboard to move forward. So being enthusiastic is very, very important. It's part of being sattvic. And if we become discouraged by failure, that's a symptom of tamagun, because tamagun is always looking in the back and being handicapped and held down by what we've done in the back. Sattvagun is learning, it's knowledge, it's illumination, and it's moving forward with determination. These are qualities of sattvagun. So if we're enthusiastic, if we're determine, determined, in spite of failure, then that's Satwagun. Now, one last thing about failure. There's a saying 
the only people who fail are the ones who give up. So if you failed, if you haven't give up, given up, you're not a failure. You just made a mistake. You, you get, you're gathering information about what doesn't work. The famous story of, of Thomas Edison trying to discover the light bulb 999 ways, which didn't work on the 1,000th experiment. It worked. So he was never discouraged. He just said, I, I discovered 999 ways it didn't work. So at least I know this doesn't work. So if we see things that way, then we can remain enthusiastic. And that's very important. So the verse, the quote today was how you react, recover from failure is going to determine your success. Nobody fails unless they give up. And if you allow failure to allow you to give up, then you're going to fail. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Hare Krishna